Hey there, Teddy Rubskin here, and today we're talking about the American Ninja movies. Yeah! Yeah. Now, you guys might be wondering why we're talking about the American Ninja movies. Well, I mean, I mean we, we talked about Blood Fist with Don the Dragon Wilson, you know? We talked about uh, Karate Tiger. Those wacky movies that were really all over the place in company. The fucking No Retreat, No Surrender movies, the Kickboxer movies. Even the best of the best movies, and retitle them as Karate Tiger movies, right? So, I mean, why the fuck not talk about the American Ninja movies? They, they, they kind of bridge the gap between the East and the West. With the American action movies like Rambo and Commando, with fucking Asian action movies like Kung Fu movies and stuff. Plus, there was a serious hunger over here in the States for ninjas and Kung Fu and shit like that, you know? American Ninja opened in 1985, and it did really well, you know? Opened a year after Karate Kid came out and made a fucking huge fucking splash. You know, all the kids at my school wanted to take karate lessons, you know? Because they had to settle for, like, Taekwondo or one of those other crazy martial arts I don't know shit about, right? <laughs> But American Ninja really came out to feed the hunger here in the States for more martial arts action bullshit. Yeah, and it definitely was that, right? Starring Michael Dudikoff as the title fucking ninja who happens to be fucking American. Yeah, he's playing Joe. Yeah, just call me Joe. Joe. Okay, Joe. Yeah, he's a, he's a soldier. A, a GI named Joe. He's G.I. Joe, <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is kind of funny, actually, because uh, later on, he, he'd actually be in the G.I. Joe movie playing Quick Kick, right? Yeah, Michael Dudikoff, the original G.I. Joe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, he, he, he's, he's joined the military kind of to avoid a prison sentence, you know, and... Uh, the rest of the soldiers don't really trust him very much, you know. They don't know who he is, they don't know anything about him. He's kind of a mystery, you know. But then again, he's also a mystery to Joe himself, right? Joe doesn't even know. You know, because he's got amnesia. He doesn't have any memories, and uh, I don't really know what's going on. Well, any, anyway, right, on a routine mission, they, they get attacked by these mercenaries, and these crazy ninjas, like, what the fuck is going on? And during the ninja attack, Joe springs into action, breaking out some ninjutsu moves and shit, right? It's kind of instinct or something, right? He's got no memories, but somehow he knows ninjutsu and shit, right? Yeah, and like, uh, everybody in the platoon is killed, but Joe manages to escape and uh, rescues this girl and stuff, you know? Yeah. And uh, catches the eye of the leader of the ninjas. He's like, who is this guy? Right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, when he gets back to base, everybody's even more suspicious of him now, right? Like, how are you the only one who survived from the platoon? What's up with that? Right? And uh, he gets approached by this black guy, right? This black guy who's like, who do you think you are? Right? And challenges him to a fight. Don't push it. Good. Very good. I've touched the thing. Let's go. Yeah, and Joe kicks his ass. And gains his respect, you know? Yeah, that guy right there, that's Steve James playing Corporal Curtis Jackson. Yeah, Steve James is a badass. And, uh, yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, him, him and the American Ninja become good friends. Curtis Jackson is man enough to admit what he's wrong. Joe's all right, right? Right. Ain't this a bitch? Right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is an awesome fucking movie, you know? It's pretty fucking badass. You know, it, it, more ninjas attack the base, and, uh, you know, Joe has to jump into action and stuff like that, you know? And then, then later in the movie, he actually does learn, like, like something about his past. He, he meets this ninja master... Who it turns out actually raised him from a baby and trained him to be like a, a super awesome ninja and stuff, right? Yeah. He learns about his past and uh, he learns that he is, you know, awesome ninja. And he jumps into action, right? 
And later in the movie, there's this scene where he's fighting like this army of fucking ninjas. Him and his ninja master are like fighting together and stuff, right? Oh, until his fucking ninja master gets killed? Oh, shit! Yeah, that pisses Joe off. So yeah, Joe Sight fights the fucking ninja leader and stuff like that. You know? And just then, Steve James shows up. Yeah, with the rest of the soldier guys for backup. Start blowing the fucking place up. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> Did the bad guys try to escape on a helicopter? Joe jumps on the helicopter and like rescues the girl again. <laughs> and jumps off the helicopter just in time for Steve James to blow that shit up. Yeah! Fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah. American Ninja is a pretty fucking badass fucking movie. Hell yeah. Hey, I guess it did alright in the theaters. I guess. Right? But it did even better business on home video, you know, where the kids got a chance to see it, you know. That's where I saw it. And, uh, you know, it was a big fucking deal. Actually, when the original American Ninja was on video, and then American Ninja 2 confrontation opened in the theaters, it was like fucking awesome, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and American Ninja 2 was pretty badass. It had these awesome action packed trailers. They were narrated by Optimus Prime. Yeah. He has learned the way of the ninja. Yeah, I love that guy. I, I know his real name, but he's always going to be Optimus Prime to me. And, he, and he's got such a great voice. Like, ninja versus ninja. It's ninja against ninja. Charlie, it's ours! Together. Ninja against ninja. Michael Dudikoff returns as the American ninja. Hey, Michael Dudikoff is back with Steve James kicking ass again. Yeah, there's even more ninja action in this movie and it's fucking great. He must defeat the most lethal assassin alive. Yeah. And they must not fail. I love American Ninja 2. It's, it's actually almost better than the original fucking film, you know? Lots more ninja action and lots more excitement. It's great, you know? And Michael Dudikoff is great. He's the ultimate American Ninja. He's fantastic, you know? I mean, he's not a great actor, but he's more than adequate, you know? There's an intensity in those eyes, you know? You could tell he's a badass. He'd kill you, you know? <laughs> right. And, uh, and he's pretty good with the kung fu and shit, you know? He can throw throwing stars and stuff. <laughs> he's great. You know, and Curtis Jackson, he's fucking cool too, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Michael Dudikoff is the American Ninja, right? But then when they made American Ninja 3, Blood Hunt, Michael Dudikoff wasn't in it. Like, what the fuck? An American Ninja movie without the American Ninja? What the fuck is this shit? No, 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 they got this guy. Fucking Dave Bradley, right? He, he, he's, he's the new guy in the movie. <clears throat> he's not really an American ninja. I mean, he's a ninja, and he happens to be American, but he's not a fucking American ninja, right? Well, luckily, we also have uh, Steve James is back. Yeah, that, that's good. We got Steve James and this other guy, right? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, it's a decent action movie. There, there's lots of shit blowing up and stuff. It's pretty badass. But then when they made American Ninja 4, Annihilation, we got fucking Michael Dudikoff is back. Yeah, Michael Dudikoff is back for American Ninja 4, right? Teaming up with the guy from American Ninja 3, Dave Bradley, right? Dave. <laughs> yeah. Michael Dudikoff and Dave are teaming up in American Ninja 4. Annihilation. Michael Dudikoff, David Bradley, American Ninja 4, The Annihilation. Hey, that movie's actually pretty fucking awesome. It's pretty badass. Unfortunately, Steve James isn't there. That's too bad, but, you know, wait, whoa, whoa. We got two American Ninjas. Wait, wait. Yeah.
And they made a fifth movie, American Ninja 5, right? But, uh, I don't know, it's not really an American Ninja movie, you know? I mean, watch the first four American Ninja movies, they're great, but skip the fifth one, because it's not really even an official American Ninja movie. Originally, it was supposed to be called American Dragon, right? And, uh, well, it's got the guy from uh, American Ninja 3 and 4, he, he, he's not even playing the same guy. In this movie, he, his name is Joe. What? Yeah, if, uh, the first American Ninja was named Joe. Joe. This guy's Joe. Is he supposed to be the... Well, wait a minute. It is, it's not. It's not. Originally, this movie was supposed to be American Dragon. and be a completely different kind of martial arts action movie. Completely different. But uh, before it was released, they just stuck American Ninja title on there. They decided to call American Ninja 5. Even though it has nothing to do with the four previous films, you know, entirely different characters doing entirely different shit, you know. This time, uh, Dave Bradley, he's, he's like a ninja guy, well, karate guy, and uh, actually, actually teamed up with Pat Morita, you know. Mr. Miyagi himself is in the fucking movie, you know. <laughs> but uh, this is no fucking American ninja movie, no. It's an American dragon movie, you know. Even though... Uh, American Ninja was originally released as uh, American Warrior. Right? Yeah. American Warrior. It was originally going to be called American Warrior. It was released in the UK as American Warrior. And released in Germany as American Fighter. Yeah, weird. That's weird. Well, apparently in the UK, they're not too fond of the word ninja, you know? I mean, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were released in the uh, UK as the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, right? Just don't like the word ninja. Nin ninja. Ninja's offensive or something. I don't know. I don't know. But over here in the States, we were going ninja fucking crazy in the late 80s, early 90s. We had ninjas all over the fucking place, you know? There were ninja action figures with G.I. Joe. And even Chuck Norris had his own line of fucking ninja action figures and shit. You know? <laughs> There were ninjas in the movies, there were ninjas in video games, there were ninjas everywhere. Yeah, and the American Ninja movies were a badass fucking ninja movie series from the late 80s and early 90s that you guys should fucking check out. They're fucking awesome, yeah! And, uh, and movies in order the way I like them, I, I, I think American Ninja 2... Kind of the confrontation is probably the best one, slightly better than the original one, right? Then the original American Ninja, then American Ninja 4, Annihilation, then American Ninja 3, Blood Hunt, and then, and then American Ninja 5, which you could just skip. Don't even bother watching that movie. It's not even connected to the other films, so fuck it, right? Yeah. But they're pretty fucking badass. You should check them out. They're, they're, they're actually available here on YouTube for free, you know? Check them out. I actually put links down there where you can see the American Ninja movies. Do it! Do it! Yeah! They get fucking Teddy's seal of ninja approval, right? Because they're badass ninja movies. <laughs> anyway, till fucking next time, keep it real.